Salutations, spooks, spirits, inspectors, and welcome back to more Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartender Action, where it looks like Red has Blue on the ropes. I mean, look at the way Blue's reacting whenever he gets hit. He's like, uh, uh, uh. and whenever Red gets here, he's like, standing here, I realize that we are so much alike. Keep on punching me, and I'll just keep on vibrating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what did you think about me? Nothing much, really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite, though. More like a professional polite. You're like that because you need to be. That was it, really. Although the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Gil, then? Him. <laughs> mm hmm He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. <laughs> yeah! But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump some testosterone into your taste in drinks. You'll thank me later, trust me. Then... Two strong drinks, manly drinks. I don't care which ones. Well... You shut up! <laughs> uh. Type manly, strong, gut punch, <laughs> Mars blast, and <coughs> Mercury blast. Oh, wait, hold on. Suplex. <laughs> Two strong, manly drinks. Gut puncher, that's strong. Uh, pile driver, no. No. We'll go with a Mars blast, all right? All blended. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. One, two, three, four, one, two. Blend it! One of these is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. Bingo! One, two, three, four, five, six, one, one, two, three, four, one, two, blend it! <sighs> I bet if I played this game with enough dedication, I could me I would have everything memorized. Serve it up. Here you go! Now drink! <laughs> oh man, up. You'll never get used to it. Hey, Jill. Has someone ever proposed to you as a prank? No. You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. No. Jill. For real? First year of high school. The guy I had my eyes on for a whole year had asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't that they set me up, but rather that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. I knew those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all. So when it all happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. <sighs> anyway, why the question? Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. 
It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question, though? Um... I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd be tend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But, I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you've told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. <laughs> that was your first idea? <laughs> I see. What? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me most. <laughs> the Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer and see no I see nobody making a fuss about that. I don't normally suspect Girl Scouts teaching people how to waterboard anybody. <laughs> but yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her, she probably won't feel offended. Gina. Which one was that again? Blonde, flat as a cutting board, but cute as a button. Oh yeah, she came to the office Christmas party, right? That's the one. Well, it's getting late, we should be going. Yeah. Thank you again for everything, Jill. Bye. Please come again. Back. Those damn cats moving the internet antenna. What? Oh yeah, Gil, some guy said I should tell you that the bunny's late, or whatever that means. Oh shit. Uh, boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office. Maybe now I can finish watching the didgeridoo tutorial? Isn't that the thing I'll wong 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 I'm pretty sure that's what the didgeridoo is. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella! You're here for another drink today. Not really. I was just around the neighborhood and... Right. Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought someone who likes old lick. Kasuke? Kasuke, I just got an achievement here. I, I just barely noticed it because I noticed the exit button disappeared out of the corner of my eye. And that thought that someone who likes old liquor as much as you would appreciate it. Really? I. I don't know what to say. Thanks. Look at Blue. He's losing. Well, it's nothing really. Breaking news. This just in. Hum. The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Earlier this morning, the bank... <gasps> oh, God! Say! Oh, my. I wonder if she'll be all right. Ah! Hello, Jamie! Good evening, Jill. I'm trying to remember... I can't even remember his voice. Like, I'm thinking... I'm playing... I'm, like, going for the Adam Jensen voice. <laughs> Did you see the news about Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. I mean, ignore the fact that the screen's still up there, but that's just because, you know, it's fine. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave the building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Gil stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. 
I guess the buddy was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> Coming right up. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. There you go. Here's your Mars Blast. One Mars Blast. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, the whole red planet thing still is still its nickname. VR. Oh. VR. I can't believe I... Myself. <gasps> Jamie, don't do anything, okay, man? Trust me. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and end it here, so thank you all very much for watching. And ciao for now. Ciao for now. <laughs>